Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be looking at levels of extension from the 20 week moving average. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers. I think we're gonna make it. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we're looking at the macro chart for the price of Bitcoin. And we've discussed before the importance of, again, the 20-week moving average and also the 21-week EMA if you prefer that. But again, when we're above it, generally bull market. When we're below it, generally bear market. So we're going to show this indicator again, which basically just color codes it green if we're above either the 20-week SMA or the 21-week EMA. And it color codes it red if we're below both of them. So... Just from a quick glance, it tries to help us identify the general bear markets and bull markets for Bitcoin. Now, one of the things we discussed at length, and we've discussed it before at length, is the idea of diminished volatility from the 20-week moving average, meaning we each cycle so far, we haven't been as extended as we were the cycle before at any step along the way, okay? At least from, from the peaks of each cycle. Now, if you look at this, if you draw a line, and again, this line will eventually break, and we could already say, you know, to some degree, it already has slightly, depends on how you draw this line exactly. Um, but, you know, you can see that more or less, so far, the extension from the 20 week moving average, each cycle has been diminishing. Again, it's not a perfect line, it's not a perfect fit by any means, but so far, it seems to be the case. Now, why do we know that eventually this will break? Well, first of all, again, this indicator is actually the log, the natural log of the price over the 20 week moving average. And the reason why that's important is because when the price is equal to the 20 week, you would get the log of one. But you know the natural log of one is zero. So if we go back and look at this chart and draw a line at zero, this, when we're above it is a bull market and when we're below it is a bear market. You can see here, when we go above it, it turns green. When we go below it, it turns red. However, so far we have seen that extension from the 20 week at the peak of each cycle has ultimately been less than the peak from the prior cycle before it. Another interesting tidbit is the fact that from the second cycle, if we go back and look at the second cycle, we had a double peak cycle and in fact, it was the first peak that was more extended from the 20 week than the second peak, despite the fact that a lot of people would consider that to be our market cycle peak. So the market cycle peak does not necessarily have to co correspond to the same level of extension from the 20 week moving average or from the, for the most for that cycle. For instance, last cycle, it was the final peak that ultimately was our level of highest extension from the 20 week moving average. But from the cycle before, it was in fact the first peak, not the second. So the idea here is we know eventually we have to break this trend line. We simply have to. And the reason why we have to is because eventually, if you zoom out for a long period of time, eventually this will trend down to zero. You know, by the end of this decade, let, let's, let's say by the end of this decade or so, this will ultimately trend down to below zero. So for us to go below zero perpetually, it means that the price of the Bitcoin would always be below the 20 week moving average, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So eventually it will break. The question is, will it break it this cycle? And we simply do not know yet. So far, we have not put in a higher level of overextension from the 20 week moving average that we did last cycle. This one reached a, for the log of the price over the 20 week, it reached a valuation of around 1.04. So far on the weekly time frame, this one has peaked at 0.78 or so. Remember, this is the log, the natural log of the price over the 20 week moving average. So down here in these areas, this is when people are generally scared, okay? <clears throat> However, it's the same area where a lot of the money is made because if you're coming in down here, whenever, you know, if you just wait long enough, historically speaking, Bitcoin continues on up higher and does something like this. So now the question is, well, now that we've come back down to earth a little bit, what will happen? What's, what's the most likely thing to happen over the next few weeks? Well, one thing we can show is, well, let's look at what's happened in the past when we've had something like this occur. Well, 
At this peak, we, we entered into a bear market eventually. However, this peak, we really didn't. We, we went below it uh, very slightly, as you can see, two faint red lines, but we ultimately did not really enter into a sustained bear market. This peak did lead into a bear market. We don't know yet where this peak is gonna go. One idea is to consider, well, you know, this cycle, we were generally increasing our levels of overextension from the 20 week fairly systematically until the very end, the final blow off top. This cycle so far, we, we simply do not know exactly what, what this cycle will look like. For instance, if we were to break this later on in the cycle, then maybe we would draw it like that and say, okay, we had you know one peak here, a second peak here, and then ultimately maybe it comes back up later on to completely break this trend line and to say, okay, Bitcoin is completely on a new path now. But one of the common misconceptions I see in, the, in this space is that a lot of people are saying, okay, well, this time is different. No one's ever seen anything like this before. And we come and look at the chart and we're like, you know, hold up a second. What do you mean no one has seen this before? In fact, this cycle has not reached a level of overextension from even the last cycle yet at the peak, which was diminished from the cycle before that, which was diminished from the cycle before that. So the idea that we haven't seen anything like this before is simply not true. We've seen levels of overextension from the 20 week moving average in prior cycles that would make this one look like a bunny hill. Okay, so what we want to do now is we just want to <coughs> we want to keep a close eye on on what happens. And the nice thing about this is that the price doesn't actually need to capitulate for this to come back down. Remember, the 20 week moving average is increasing and it's probably increasing right by about a thousand dollars a month at this point or a week, about a thousand dollars a week or so. So even if the price were to stay constant, the extension from the 20 week would go down. So that's something to keep in mind. And, and another reason that we, we like to talk about this is because, you know, we've looked at the last cycle and we saw us get pretty overheated several times. And each time it seemed more or less like we were getting more overheated than the time before. That's not always the case, but generally as the cycle progressed, we were able to get more overheated each time, but they were closer together. This cycle so far, we saw overheat a lot, you know, being very overheated at this point in 2019. And now we've seen it again here in 2021. However, we did not have a lot of places in between where things got that significantly overheated. So make no mistake, this cycle looks very different than the last cycle, very different. Uh, and, and to some degree, we, we you know, we've made comparisons to this cycle as well. But it also it also looks very different from that cycle too to some degree, you know, there, there, there's, it's not like each cycle is going to completely mimic other cycles or each cycle will have its own characteristics and we have to sort of navigate it the best we can as we continue moving, you know, moving along. If we draw a general trend line here to, to look at the top and then we can also do the same thing to, to look at the bottom, maybe we're just in this very elongated move and that it's going to go from levels of overextension to the 20 week where it comes up to these major peaks and then cools down for a while and then goes back up a, a while later. So hopefully this perspective provides another outlook on the market. We talk about this indicator, you know, every few weeks, and I think it is very valuable in terms of identifying the, the general idea that so far macro level volatility from the peaks and, and as measured from extension from the 20 week moving average so far each cycle, it hasn't peaked at the same level that it peaked at during the prior cycle. We'll obviously have to see if this cycle plays out in the same way, or if this cycle is the cycle we break the trend line. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel in the description below. And as a reminder, we do have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. You'll get access to weekly reports, weekly videos, a Telegram alerts channel, a Telegram chat room, a risk dashboard, premium only live streams. You get access to a whole lot of stuff and the trading view indicators. Make sure you guys check it out into the cryptoverse.com. That'll wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, turn on alerts. I'll see you next time. Bye.